Good evening, second year orchestra. I hope everybody's having an amazing start to their week. Um, it is Mrs. Durham. So I am going to be going over the repeats and the cuts that we're gonna be doing for your new song. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And while this is pulling up, um, really cool, fun fact. Um, the composer here, um, who is Richard Meyer, um, was actually my conductor when I was in youth orchestras a long time ago. I thought that was um, pretty cool to share with you. So um, for our spring performance, we're still gonna be doing samba. Um, and then we are adding this song. And as you can see, very um, simple song. You guys will be able to get this in a day um, compared to Samba, which you guys did amazing on. So um, all the repeats are the same for violin one, violin two, viola, and cello. So um, after I go over the repeats with you, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to show you the background track, how that's going to sound so you get the song in your head. Okay. So as you can see right here, I put in the repeats right here for you. So we are not going to be playing measure 19. And you can see I scribbled the notes out. And I do this in my rehearsal. So yes, I'm allowing you guys to scribble those notes. And the reason why we do that is so we don't get confused and play it on accident. So that's why I went ahead and I scribbled this. And I did that for everybody's part. So if you're playing violin one, violin two, viola or cello, okay? So once I finish measure 18, I'm gonna repeat back to the beginning, okay? And violin one, two and viola, you are resting. My cello friends, you need to make sure as soon as you're playing that last note, your eyes go right up here because you are playing at the beginning, okay? So after we play the second time through, it says to coda, and I'm going to jump here, okay? So I know it says DSL coda, and we have the symbol here, but we're not gonna be doing DSL coda, and that's where that cut is, okay? So again, we're gonna play, 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 repeat back to the beginning, play, play, play. And once I'm at Dakota, I'm gonna jump here. So I'm gonna play that for you right now. So you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? All right, so I would be resting, okay? And then I'm gonna come in, so here we go. <laughs> things. So just like we've talked about when we're learning a brand new song, 
is I want to see what am I playing that's going to repeat. So I can already see measure three and measure 11 are the same, right? And measure four, and measure 12 are the same. So I really want you to look over those measures first. So you'll know, okay, I did it the first time, so I can do it again. And I'm going to now scroll down to violin two. I'm not gonna play it. I'm just redoing the repeats again. So you can see it's the same as violin one, okay? So you're resting those first two measures. Play, play, play to here, repeat back. And to play, 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 and at Dakota, we're here. So really important with Dakota. So for example, after I do open D and tape one, remember I have to do tape two and then my eyes go here, okay? Because if I don't plan ahead, I'm not gonna get there in time. Okay, and same thing. What measures are repeating? So look, measure three, measure 11, those are the same, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go to the viola. It's the same thing. My viola players, you are resting those first two measures, okay? So same repeat, okay? So I measure 18, I'm gonna go back to the beginning, I'm gonna play, my second time when it says Dakota, we jump here. Okay. So I want to jump to the cellos because my cellos, okay, you guys come right in. And there are these dots right here. And in music, this is called staccato. So that means short. Okay. And the opposite in music is legato, which is long. So I'm just going to play those first couple of measures so you can hear the staccato and how short I'm doing it. Here, here, and I'm gonna pull up the back track, okay? And you'll hear me stop it in between so you can hear where we're gonna repeat and where we're jumping to the coda, okay? So I'm going to bring that up here. And we're at a fast tempo right now. So I'm gonna actually bring it down to and 80, okay? So this is the gold tempo we want, okay? All right, so here we go. There's cello.
going to jump to the coda, which is right here. This was very helpful. And just like always, if you have any questions while you're practicing at home, please let me know. And we can always set up an extra time if you're confused about anything. You guys are going to do amazing on this, okay? And I will see you in class this week.